Once upon a time, there was a lamb named Larry. This young fellow lived happily with his family on a farm. On a cold and windy evening, a large tornado hit the farm, and Larry got swept far, far away. What was that? That felt like a bad dream. Hooray! Thank you, stranger. You landed on and killed the wicked butcher beast. You're welcome, I guess. Where am I exactly? You are in the land of Boz. Welcome! What can we do to return the favor to you? Well, I would like to go back to my farm. Is there any way you could tell me how to get back? There is one man who can help you. His name is the Wizard of Boz. He can grant you any wish and get you home. You must follow the yellow red rose through the different biomes to get to him. He will be at the end of the path. Okay, great. I must be gone then. Thank you. Oh, hello there, Chopper. Welcome to Timber Forest, located 30 to 60 degrees north and south. Hi. What brings a scarecrow like yourself here? Well, the Timber Forest has very rich soil and great seasonal productivity. This combined with high rainfall means that there are a lot of crops that are growing here. There is a dense human population in this area, and I was put here by a human to make sure none of the crops get eaten. Oh, okay. I see. What else can I find around here? Many things. However, it's not as diverse as tropical forests. You can find deciduous trees with a layer of shrubs and smaller trees in more seasonal wetter areas. There are also conifers in the less seasonal drier areas. Wow, that's good variety. Are there any other things that have rich soil for agriculture around here? Why, yes. The temperate grassland has very rich soil and is the most thriving ecosystem to agriculture. In fact, I can take you there and show you around. I'm brainless, so I was hoping to find a human to give me a brain transplant. And I heard that temperate grasslands are also overrun by people. So let's go. Here is the temperate grassland. This is also located 30 to 60 degrees north and south, but it is away from the coast. It's highly seasonal. Here you experience warm, moist summers and cool, dry winters. It's quite the different scenery. Indeed, you can tell that this area is dominated by grass. This is maintained by disturbance, such as fires or grazing. Oh, I see. Grass is perfect here because it's more drought tolerant than trees. That's right. Well, I'll be on my way to continue looking for a human brain surgeon in the middle of a temperate grassland. If you get lost, here is a map of all the biomes of the Yellow Brick Road. Good luck on your journey. Goodbye. Bye, thank you. Okay, now let's see what's on this map. Desert biome located 30 degrees north and south, which contain high pressure zones from happy cells. Contains hot and dry climate and are also prone to rain shadows. The soil is shadow and nutrient poor, so there are sparse tough vegetation with few to no leaves. There is high diversity of ectotherms dirt due to low energetic demands. Some amphibians live here and have evolved to manage with minimal rain. Hmm, yeah, this place lost me at hot and dry. Let's go to the next bio, the tropical rainforest located along the equator. Wow, this place has such high diversity in biomass. I agree. Ah! Ah! Why are you screaming? You scared me. Because I'm a frightened frog. I get startled easily. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You were right about the diversity in biomass. This rainforest contains about 50% of the Earth's species. It is also covered with broadleaf evergreen and deciduous trees. We have huge variability of fruiting. Most of the nutrients are in the biota, so there is poor soil. The only problem here is that our biome is heavily threatened. Over half of it has been destroyed. Could you possibly help me? Why, I'm actually headed to see the Wizard of Fox. I can pass word if you'd like. Ooh, that would be great. In fact, let me tell you a secret. The last biome on the map is Arctic Tundra, located less than 50 degrees north. Do not go there. Why not? There's a polar bear named Buffy. Rumor has it that his heart is eyes full from the long cold winters. He's scary. In fact, everything there is permanently frozen there, which is known as permafrost. They have short vegetation, low diversity of only conifers, lichen, and moss, and there is low decomposition. Sounds like I may not make it out alive there. Possibly. I can tell you a shortcut to the Wizard of Oz, and you can be on your way. That would be perfect. And so Larry the Lamb took the shortcut to the Wizard of Boz, and when he came to meet the mysterious myth, it turned out to be a noble shepherd who helped guide Larry safe and sound back to his farm.